Hello, hello, Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact, somebody's talking good about you, Aquarius. My right ear is itching. They had good things to say. I don't know. All right, let's keep going. All links are below. If you uh, want to get in contact with me, readings are always on sale. 40% I'll take advantage. Um, after today, I will be offering after pay. So now you can pay at your leisure. So take advantage of that. And also if you want to get involved in some of the business coaching, the intuitive business coaching, you can use after pay. So after pay will be there for you. All right, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with the clear concise message from you i asked god spirit angels all of them i said what is the overarching theme for aquarius for this reading and we got the judgment card very nice card look how the spirit is ascending you know um this is the awakening the judgment card is actually the age of aquarius so is the age of awakening to yourself to what was dead out of that slumber it's like you got to awaken to you to know who you are so you can move forward so that you can go into new life, new existence. Some of you is like you're shedding old skin or you need to do this. You need to let something go. Judgment card can also be associated with the sign of Scorpio. So again, kind of like shedding that old skin, letting go of those loyalties that you were holding on to. They're outdated. You know, it's, it's, it's worn out. You've, you've worn it out. And the judgment card talks about releasing, relinquishing, absolving, stop holding yourself or others in contempt, forgive. That doesn't mean you got to go sit at the table with them. Just forgive. It's like a spiritual fuck you. It's like, I release you in love and light, but yeah, fuck you. You know, it's like that, you know, it's like, I don't want anything bad to happen to you, but yeah, fuck you. We, you know, it's like, we're forever done. Like there's no relationship, but there's also no harboring of the ill will, the, the feelings. I was getting also for some of you, Aquarius, this is a, a time, of course, Mercury retrograde. There were a few other planets that were retrograde now and have gone direct. Um, this is a time where there's like resurfacing, okay? A lot resurfacing, coming to the surface, okay? You were trying to push it down. Uh, this is a time of direction, deciding. So you're gonna have to cut something out. Because when you say, I want new life and new love and new this and new that, but yet and still you've, you've got all this old stuff that you want to take with you in your new life. I mean, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like the universe asking, well, where are we going to put all this old stuff? I thought you said you wanted new stuff. It's the, it's the equivalent of saying, I want a new bed for my bedroom. You get the new bed, the delivery people come to the de deliver and put up the new bed and they're like, well, can we, you know, are you going to get rid of the old bed? We'll recycle. And you're like, no, I want both. I'm just going to, you know, however you guys can fit this new bed in here go ahead and it's like what no you have to get rid of your old bed some kind of way whether you put it in another room sell it and give it away i don't know you've got to get rid of it you got to decide right got to make a decision and that's what the judgment card is about i also was getting for some of you i'm feeling like this is for my ladies um somebody made you question your worth who you are and some of you are pushing that feeling down. Like you don't want to confront that feeling because to confront it is almost to contend with your worth. Or maybe you have to look at yourself or, or how you look at yourself or it's like a pseudo, um, like confidence. Like you get this false sense of conf confidence oh, or somebody was trying to attack your confidence by maybe putting you in third party situation, choosing somebody else over you. I'm um, telling you that somebody was better than you, looks better than you, is better than you, whatever. And then you're trying to 
mask the hurt, the feelings, uh, the emotions with, well, I know I'm better than, and it, it's kind of fake. It's kind of false. It's like, why don't you go head on like a Scorpio would do with those emotions of, wow, this person did make me feel like I was less than. Now, why would I feel like I'm less than? Because this person compared me to something or someone that they thought was better than. Okay. And, and in turn, it was like uh, transmuting or transforming those thoughts and those emotions to you, Aquarius woman. That that person felt this way about you and what they wanted to do was hand it over to you. I feel like this other person looks better than you, is better than you, has a big butt though, or whatever, and more money. And so they wanted you to take on that that energy or that those thoughts or those feelings. And some of you did, but you pushed it down. You didn't confront it. You got to confront that. You got to confront that. It's like saying, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to look at, I'll size this other woman up or this other man up. Yeah, maybe they do have more money than me. Maybe they do have a better body than me. But I don't know this woman or this man's heart. I don't know what they're after. I don't know their their mindset. I don't know how they love. I know how I love. I know what I have to offer. And this is what is valuable in regards to me. See, somebody tried to shift your value system, Aquarius. They tried to move. It's like a... I don't know. I'm getting, they give me a scale. Like they try to, it could be have something to do with weight. I don't know. Like they try to move your scale, make you think less than yourself. And you were just trying to mask it with, oh, I know that girl that he's dealing with ain't, you know, whatever. It, it was, it was false. It was falsehood. You know, it's kind of like, why don't you attack that? Why don't you attack those feelings? Why don't you attack those emotions? And this could even be from the past. This could even be friends, family, making you feel like you're less than. And then you go and you put on all of these, th this falsehood, all of this pseudo confidence, maybe by getting the nicest car, the nicest house and, you know, X, Y, and Z. And you're putting on this mask of just, falsehood when you really should just take it off and start to attack those thoughts those emotions those feelings everything that that person or those people said you attack it you attack it with what you know Aquarius I know that's your affirmation what you know to be true see I always got a saying if I start telling the truth about all these people that lie on me, whew, people start running for the hills. See, Aquarius, you know the truth. So start attacking this falsehood and this fakeness, maybe that people are trying to make you wear or that you were trying to skirt, you weren't trying to deal with. Start attacking it with the truth. Because in the midst of, of, of truth, the lie doesn't exist. So you can eradicate those thoughts. Let's get into it, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. No. All right. All right. Where am I going? All right. Let's see what is going on for the Aquarius. All right. So we got run, leave, family. Okay. Lies. She can't make this stuff up. Spiritual. Spirit, you are on it today. What about that? We talked. Oh, let me move that down. Hang on one second. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, we've got run, leave. I know you probably can't read it. Spiritual. Lies. And we've got family. Man. Aquarius, that just piggybacked off of everything we just talked about. So, of course, somebody tried to put the lie on you. Who is the author of lies? Yep, we know who, who that is. It's not good energy. Uh, it's not of the light. So it's like, when you're again, they want you to meet the lies, the deception with truth. 
It's, the lie is going to have to run and hide. It's going to have to go. It's, if you start telling the truth about all of the people that lied on you, lied about you, lied to you, you're going to be running. They're going to be hiding. Wow. They're going to be running, leaving. Wow. Aquarius. Yeah. Stop running from the truth. Also stop running from yourself. Stop running from facing things head on. I can talk to you like that Aquarius because I think I'm, you know, at, at one point in my life, many years ago, many moons ago, you know, I was there, you know, when, when things happen to you, it makes you question yourself, but then you try to be the strong person and you, you try to put on this, this mask, this, um, this act of, of a strength, right? And it helps for a minute, but it's pseudo, it's not real, it's fake. Because you haven't really attacked those emotions and those thoughts, so stop running from there and attack it. Spiritual, you know, there's a saying like, every vibration in the universe, you know, when you, when you say something, I'm, say, I'm talking to you guys now, this, the sound waves never leave, never leave the universe. They just keep vibrating. So when people were talking to you, lying on you, saying things to you that were lies, saying things about you that were lies, you know, it, it almost act as spiritual warfare. Like it was attacking you spiritually because it never really went away. Um, scientifically, the waves never go and they just keep vibrating, you know? So, um, The universe also wants you to find some type of spiritual practice. It could have been something that you were doing in the past. They want you to revive it, relive it. Wow. Yeah. They, so it's, this is like piggybacking. Some of you just need to relive the shit that happened. This is how you forgive. This is how you absolve. This is how you stop holding yourself and others in contempt. When you try to push it down and mask it with all this fakeness and this falsehood. And I know I'm a bad bitch and I'm a this and I'm a this and that. And I got this. No, no, no. Though those things may be true. What is actually, you need to go deeper is what the universe is saying. Go deeper, go deeper. It could have something to do with family. Like maybe you push some family dynamic, some hurtful, traumatic family event dynamic situation down. You don't want to deal with it or you've gotten away from family or you're running away from family or you just don't want to deal with them. You don't trust them. It's just too much. It's, it's for you right now, insurmountable. It's like, I can't, you just can't. It's like the spiritual fuck you. It's like, I release you in love and like, but at the same time, fuck you, you know, like, you don't say the part of fuck you. You just say, I release you in love and light. But in your mind, it's like, yeah, but fuck you. Yeah, because, yeah, because fuck you. You know, that's all. Um, It's like you don't want to deal with certain people, situations. It just causes too much hurt. And it's Aquarius dealing with their feelings. It's a lot, you know. You know, that's a lot. And um, they don't want you to overanalyze or intellectualize. Is that a word? They don't want you to be, you know, over it. They don't want you to be analytical about it. They want you to really feel, really sit in your feelings. So when that man or that woman chose that other man or woman over you, how did that make you feel? Not what did you do? Who did you go find to replace? How did you feel? Right? And then why did you feel that way? And then what did you tell yourself? And then what did you do? So it's like, they want you to retrace something here. And it could even be with family. So just replace it. If it's not a man or a woman, replace it with family. When family said things, did things to you, you know, how did you feel? Why did you feel? What did you tell yourself? Then what did you do? 
Or did you just run? You know, you run from it all. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here for my Aquarius collective. I can't make this up. I just saw fall in addition on it to me again. Falseness. So it's like the universe is saying, look, before we can take you into the land of milk and honey, honey, you're going to have to deal with this because we can't have this resurfacing in your new life. We need you to release the old, release these people, release this person, release those feelings, release, release that job that did you wrong, those people that took advantage of you, that business partner that stole from you, release we can't, we can't do that. We can't, we won't do that is what the universe is saying. You know, it's, it goes against universal law. Like you have to have this come to Jesus judgment moment with yourself. It's for you. It's not for anyone else. So you don't have to go and involve anyone else. You don't have to go and, you know, gather up all the people who did wrong to you and tell them this or that. It's, this is for you. Cause something about it. You haven't released, you know? All right, let's see. Joyfulness, can't make it up. That's what you're coming into. Fun, love, joyfulness, playfulness, um, lighthearted. All right, so in order to manifest Aquarius, your heart has to be light as a feather. What does that mean? Um, <laughs> Okay. Um, I know somebody out there is like, what the hell does that mean? You know, cause you, you listen to all of these different tarot card readers and you listen to all this, maybe even self-help type of energy stuff. And you're like, okay, another cliche type of, you know, phrase. What does it really mean? Light as a feather, right? Well, when you are, well, your heart needs to be light as a feather. When you are harboring regret, remorse, unforgiveness for self and for others. Your heart is not light as a feather. Your heart is, is heavy. And we manifest from our heart, from the heart chakra, your, your true desire in the heart. It's not from your mind. It's not from any of that. You can have a thought, but you manifest from your heart. That's the, the true desire, you know? Um, so the universe is like, fix what's going on with you. Let this go. You, somebody, somebody here needs resolve. So that you can come into the land of milk and honey, joyfulness. Your heart needs to be light as a feather. You also need to come to God, spirit, whatever you believe in, with a childlike existence with a childlike mindset you can't go come to God with this like the stone hard stone cold interior and exterior you have to be like believing like a child like their imagination is it can run wild. They believe. So you have to be in that mind, in that uh, frame of mind. Let's see what else is going on. Misfortune. This, again, in the past, there could have been misfortune. There could have been something that happened to you, around you, surrounding you, about you, that caused misfortune. It caused uh, for you to miss out on what the future held for you. So this could have been something that derailed you. This is also like a tower moment. Like it's time to come down from that tower that you built either around yourself, around your heart, around certain people, around certain issues. You need to let it fall because in the midst of the rubble, you can see clear now. And you can rebuild. Think about if your house just got knocked down right now. It'd be extremely unfortunate. Be misfortune. 
But in the midst of it being knocked down, maybe you'll come to a, you know, you'll come to some type of um, mindset of, well, I, I did say I wanted a new home. I do have homeowners insurance. If it was a natural disaster, you could get money from, you know, FEMA. You, hey, so many different avenues with that. You, you could have been in a horrible marriage. You're like, I want to, I want a divorce. Maybe this is the opportunity for me to get out of this old life back to some of you trying to take old into new. So this, so it's like in the midst of the tower, now you can rebuild, you know, in the midst of misfortune, you know, now you can, you can see clear or in the midst of something falling down or falling apart, you see clear, you may have learned something from being taken advantage of lied to just completely deceived. Let's see. What a home. Wow. Okay. It could be some more misfortune around your home or your relationship or a relationship fell apart. Wherever you do your work or you do a lot of work or you work from, or you um, have been working on a relationship for a very long time. It says that, um, I don't know, misfortune. Maybe you, you gave your love to the wrong person. You built, you built a house around your heart. It was, it was, it was closed. You weren't even ready for love. Neither was the other person, but you had two different reasons of why you weren't ready and why they weren't ready. You don't meet karmic people because you're ready for love and they aren't. You meet karmic people because you still have some karma to work out. Now your issue is going to be different from theirs and theirs is different from yours. One could be greater, one could be lesser, whatever. The, the, the point of it all is that you still have something to work out within yourself. Judgment card. The house also, it could be in regards to a relationship. It could be in regards to a house or somewhere where you did a lot of work or you, you um, or maybe you were doing all of the work in a relationship or at a job or where you work at. It's like, it's time to let that go. It's time to go into something new. It's time to come into the land of milk and honey, all right? Let's see what else we got going on for Aquarius priest. So abstinence, pious, chastity. To say all of those things, what they all have in common is discipline. Maybe you weren't as disciplined as you needed to be in a certain situation or somebody act with you. They act out of order with you. It was, it was, um, maybe you were committed to, you were disciplined to uh, be in a relationship with someone or committed to something that wasn't committed to you. And it caused you great misfortune. This could even be family. Again, letting go of the outdated worn out loyalty oh well, well i have to do it because they're family oh we're blood oh we're husband and wife oh that's my child if it means putting yourself out of the car and putting everybody else in the car now you're walking everybody everyone else is they have a seat in the car this is crazy this is absurd it's it's absurd it's it's out of order maybe that's why you have priest coming up. So it's like some of you found this is your come to Jesus moment, come to wherever moment. Um, you come into a place of getting back in order, having some discipline, some rules, some regiment, commitment to self. Maybe even your goals, you're going to be committed to something. This could even be you coming into spirituality. Priesthood is what I'm hearing. Maybe some of you are studying to be a priest or studying to be um, spiritually or spiritual worker of some sort. I don't know. Yeah. Room, what, whatever this is, it, you going, your name is going to be mentioned in different rooms already right now, but it's, it's going to open up opportunities, destined meetings or, um, haphazard or synchronicity or coincidence or, you know, all of this stuff you know, kind of coming together, making sense room. It's like you're coming into something new. You, you're going into a different room, a different level. The judgment card right before the world, you hit the judgment card. Are you ready to relinquish? Are you ready to let go? Are you ready to have that death? 
Are you ready to shed that skin? Are you ready to go into that new room? Aquarius, this could be in love. This could be in um, work. This could be with family. This is more so about you, Aquarius. Like, it's like the universe is trying to take you up, ascend higher. Melancholy. Come on. You could just be at a place of, um, you don't feel, it's like indifference. You don't feel any type of way. Not greatly. Like, it's not like a, you don't have this extreme emotion about it. Nor are you super depressed. It's like you're somewhere in the middle. It's almost like sentimental feelings. You know, it's like the leftover residual feeling of, it's an interesting place to be, but it's also a place where you can, you know, um, you can move forward. You can either seep into or sink into depression or you can go higher. You can ascend like the judgment card, the spirit, you know, ascending. So it's like some of you could be in a depressive state and it's like either you can stay there or you can decide to pull yourself up by those bootstraps and come up, or you can just continue to go down. But you're in a middle place. You could be at a crossroads also in your life, Aquarius, where you it's like, damn, do I leave this job and start my own thing or go to another job, or what do I do? Or do I leave this relationship, or do I leave this behind, or do I move? Do I could be at a crossroads. Right. Comparison. I can't make this up. Foe. So some, you could be comparing one situation to another. So you could have been compared to something else. You know, someone made a foe out of another person for you. They did this for you. Or another situation for you. Like someone could have tried to make you the foe, you know, you the, this could even be like scapegoat, the black sheep, just in terms of family, maybe even friends. It's like someone tried to make you the, the different thing, the eccentric thing, the, um, the weird, the, the weird option, the weirdo. It's like someone tried to, you know, directly compare you to something or, or someone or, this could even be lies, constancy coming out. This is, it talks about things staying the same. You know, I don't know if it's that in family dynamic or friends, you're finding that you're always the odd man or odd woman out. You're always finding yourself on the outskirts. You're always finding yourself not getting along or being the one who's being pushed out or you're always finding yourself having to leave or being hated on, if you will, or made um, to be, again, the scapegoat, people jealous, envy. Uh, you you finding yourself always being the one that is um, singled out. It's something because it's, you, you've got a greatness on the inside of you. Also Aquarius, you're here for a reason. You have something to give to the world, X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. Um, other people can see it, especially in the spiritual realm. We did have spiritual come out. So it's like, you're all, you're going to be constantly under attack your entire life because there's, it's a light that shines you know, in you, about you, your aura is different. Your mindset is different. Your heart is different. Everything is different about you. Therefore, you are always going to be the odd person out. You are the star. The stars are up in the sky. The stars are special. You look up to the stars. They sparkle. You know, it's like, oh, if I could just wish upon a star, if I can touch one of the stars, you know, so that's the type of energy that you exude, Aquarius. Therefore, you always get you're always going to probably get the short end of the stick, maybe even in large groups or groups of people. 
maybe even friend friend groups you know it just is what it is um you're always going to be misunderstood it's it's not that um <clears throat> often you hear of um people exploring You don't always hear of people um, exploring stars, so you're always going to be misunderstood. People just don't feel like they—they they feel like they can't get you, they can't peg you. There's no constancy about you. There's always a moving up or a moving around, or there's always a shift, or that Uranus energy always comes out. It's so many downloads I'm getting with that Aquarius. I'm gonna move on though. Mm. What else is going on for Aquarius? It's 31 minutes. Whoa. Something that you, you do, you sell, you will be selling. It's going to give you great fortune. Aquarius, just stick with it. Okay, and stop trying to compare yourself to others or what they do or how they do it or count other people's money and in regards to yours or someone is doing this, you know, to you. Somebody was getting a little, and then there was a lot here with fortune and then merchant, you know, little compensation, a few sales here, a few sales there. And then um, somebody's trying to compare themselves to you, or you were trying to compare yourself to someone else. It looks like whatever you sell, you do, how you sell yourself, product, service, um, it's going to be big for you. It's going to turn into great fortune for you. Can't make this up. At the bottom of the deck, you have waiting. This card talks about envy, jealousy, the other woman. People compare themselves to you, people looking in on your life. Again, you've got some people doing this and they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to have, they're having conversation about you, trying to gain information about you, what you do, your whereabouts, how much money you make. There's some, just to switch gears, there's some uh, playboy, playgirl who is, now feels like they're in love with you. Can't make it up. Scholar, soldier, love. They feel like they're in love with you, Aquarius. Yeah. And they're trying to do something each and every day to bring you back to have some like face-to-face -face meeting with you. This can be like magic or wishing upon a star, praying. Yeah, like they want some face-to-face -face meeting with you. They could want you to, so they don't mean, they're not giving anything. They could want you to be their wife or their husband, but are they going to propose? That's the question. It looks like no. It looks like they want you to be involved in more frivolous activity that's going nowhere. They want you to be a servant, a slave to their love or to, to them or to their devotion. They want you to rest in the energy of just waiting for them. You know, things being unresolved between the two of you. Um, they want you to be in that energy of just being there, uh, caring for them, being the wife to them or a husband to them. They could want you back because they're in like some mental prison about you, how you are a gift. Again, a gift to the universe. Gift. A gift to them. You were a gift. You were, were a way out. I don't know, out of something, out of some type of lifestyle out of negativity, drama, low vibrating, you were a way out. You were a gift. You could be receiving an approval, 
Some of you need to go and talk to counselor, professional, therapists about this falseness, you know, within yourself. Some issues you haven't dealt with. There is somebody here who can't deal with the fact that you're done. It's a sad, lonely, pathetic man. This is a man. They just thought you'd never leave. You would never start to value yourself, your energy, your time. They know that you, yeah, they, they've they run out of time with you. Maybe they know that you're still young or you look youthful or you can, you can still shake and move. You can do what you need to do. You can transition, transition. You can move on. Right. And they're in despair because it looks like you won't allow them to play with you again. Yeah. They're still holding on to hope that you love them. But for you, Aquarius, it might be a no-go. It's just a no. You just don't trust the energy. Let's get Aquarius uh, an enchanted map oracle card. It's the enchanted map oracle for Aquarius. So if you're thinking about a past person, it looks like, of course, they want you back. But all for their own selfish reason it's like some of you are really letting this go or you have already let it go you in family dynamic it's like you need to deal with some type of emotional trauma trauma traumatic event in regards to family let's see flying very nice i think you got this before aquarius so flying high okay um, you may be by yourself, you know, um, just by yourself. You just don't need to be around others at this time. So you're seeing things from a higher perspective now, Aquarius. You're seeing how things kind of align with your, um, your highest purpose. And um, this is a sign, Aquarius, that the waiting is over, especially with that judgment card coming out. Your hard work will pay off or it's paid off. We did see that with Fortune and Merchant. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're putting out there, you're going to get, you know, um, your, your fortune lies there. You're going to get money for it. Um, all the things that you hope for no longer be on your scope. Yeah, it's right here. It's just like they want you to release one thing, you know, and then you can move forward. Um, you have the ability to reach the stars. We talked about you, the star card. Um, spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. So you need to talk to your angels. It's just time. Okay. You're flying high above challenges. And you're open to new opportunity, new perspective. Or you need to be. Um, we have a new moon coming up 24th, 23rd. Talk to your angels on that new moon. Tell them what you want. Tell them what's going on with you. Release all that you need to release, you know, to the, to the angels so that they can help you transmute that energy. Looks like the universe spirit has big plans for you. Um, has a big surprise for you. Let's see ghosting so you may have ghosted a situation or ghosted someone or they ghosted you or uh, you're just walking away you're running you're leaving you might need to go deal with you know a lot of times when you ghost something it's because you don't want to deal with it right and we talked about that early on you needed to deal with some emotions cheating while she's pregnant yeah somebody put you in a third party situation somebody was an absolute live wire you just didn't know what you were going to get they were all over the place uh, maybe you, you went bananas on somebody. You just went off, you know, it is a yellow card. You just, you just turned all the way up. Um, or yeah, or you're a live wire or someone is a live wire. They do whatever, you know, you just, they're unpredictable. That could be you. That's how people view you soft. Okay. 
Um, yeah, you, maybe you need to be more soft. It being a pink card, self-love, self-care, heart chakra. It's green, but um, maybe you just need to do some heart healing. Um, you need to be more soft. Some of you are are a live wire or you're hard because you have to have this hard exterior because um, it keeps, you know, that it's like pseudo. It's false. It keeps uh, the people that you feel like will harm you away. But all of that is just falsehood. Let's see. Angry. Someone could be angry. I'm hearing like the anniversary of someone's death. Angry. I don't know. Angry. Um, angry and anniversary. What is this about, spirit? Oh, you still angry at something that happened in the past. You're thinking about it. You know, you you need to memorialize it. That's what they just, <laughs> you need to put something to death. Judgment card. You need, this is when you awaken all of those feelings, all of those emotions, you deal with it and then you put it to death. You put it to bed the right way. Memori so you need to, you need to put it in the grave. If you have a memorial, it's, it's a, you know, burial, burial site. Whatever this is, it makes you angry when you think about it. When you think about being played by that person who said that they love you, they wanted to be with you. When you think about being hurt by that family or the family member who is supposed to love you and show you devotion and care. When you think about that job you've given all of those hours to, all that time to, how they can just cut your hours or get rid of you or not care. It just makes you angry. And the universe is like, let's deal with it. Let's deal with it because, you know, all that you want is very close to you. It's, it's in sight. We want you to deal with this last thing. Let's see what's going on. Stoner in reverse. Come out of being addicted to something, needing to find a, an easy way out or to ease the pain back to that pseudo that false confidence in all of that you know masking come out of that you know that's what the cards are saying let's see what else yeah fast thinker so it's just like i don't know the thoughts are rushing they're coming and it, it, if you feel like you can just Continue just thinking and thinking and thinking and going. Just come out of overthinking also for some of you. Because when you when you overthink, you don't make the right decision or a smart decision. You need to warm up to somebody who treated you like a stepchild, a stepmother. You warm up to somebody or who... There's indifference towards this person. It's like you don't feel pretty much anything. You know, kind of lukewarm to this person because of what they've done. This could even be your own mother. Well, maybe you felt like they treated you like a stepchild. Treated you like she was your stepmother, you know, versus your actual mother. What is going on here? Comfort. Yeah, maybe she didn't make it comfortable to come to her. It was hard, muscular. Or it's hard to come to, to her. You don't believe in her. You don't like, I, damn it. All right. I, was, I, I caught myself with spirit that you don't like her. You don't like somebody. You don't like them. They don't like you. you I don't know. Somebody doesn't like somebody. Hard. Exterior. Let's see. This person could be addicted to some substance or they abuse substance. They're addicted to talking about you or just being nasty to you also. Whomever this is. It looks like a feminine energy. And that's why you kind of put your boundaries up. Text me, don't call me. or I, I just, yeah, wow. Boundaries around your business. Whether it's an actual, you know, like, business 
or just your, the business of you. Like you don't want them to know your personal business. You feel like you have to be strong around these people when you want to be soft and comfortable and You have to be strong because you feel like somebody has an illness, an undiagnosed addiction, addictive behavior, um, mental disorder. You feel like, so this is it's apathy or it's like understanding. Wow. I just saw understanding it, and it just went in the deck. Hmm. Yeah, you, per, you feel like this person is sick, you know? If somebody could be sick on their deathbed and it's and you still there's still a lot of tension and animosity there before somebody gives up the spirit they want to say something to you or you need to say something to them or it's mutual i'm just like a mashup a clash up i don't know let's see yeah you need to become unstuck on something You also got unstuck on maybe that playgirl, playboy, because you knew they were in the energy of, they didn't want to commit to you, just fear of missing out. And they weren't there for you. So you said, you know what? You aren't here for me. You've got other people. I'm just going to like wiggle my way out of this with you. I'm going to heal myself because you are con man a fraud a liar everything you say is cap it's a lie they want to reconcile with you and it might be because of money money coming into you they see you as money this also could be as they see you as valuable they could even be trying to give you some money like if i give you some money or i give you back the money i owe you maybe we can reconcile but we know what reconcile means here on the channel. I don't know if they really want to do that or they just want to have a reunion. I should make a card that says reunion. Yeah. You make them happy. It is some old, older man with a feminine energy. Look, you make this person happy. They, could, they make you have gray hair and they could have gray hair. They could be older than you. If the feminine says, hell no because you were unfair to me. I, I don't trust it. Someone just doesn't trust. They don't feel like it's a good idea. Good idea in reverse. Someone could have sex with somebody's friends or somebody was always yelling, oh, that's just my friend. And they knew that they were, you know, just saw that person naked maybe a few hours ago. You know, uh, it, it, What's the advice for Aquarius moving forward? We know that you need to really deal with some emotions, Aquarius, because the universe is like you're right at the brink of having greatness, milk and honey. But we want you to deal with this because we don't want it to resurface. Yeah, pour out those emotions, Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um. Pour out those emotions is what I just heard. Pour it out for maybe a lover, a past lover, a twin flame soulmate who was unavailable, a liar, a con artist, um, egotistical, exerted their power over you, forceful, maybe even hurtful, harmful, physically, mentally, emotionally. Somebody who just didn't mean you well. Someone, who, a, a chronic liar who just knew their power and they used it against you um pour out those emotions for this person yes they your twin flame soulmate whatever but that doesn't mean you have to deal with uh, negativity the empress in reverse it says let it go let it go um the empress in, in reverse is there's nothing good that can come out of this. When the Empress is upright, this is typically a card I get for when your karma is good. There's no good karma happening for this person or with this person. No. Page of Wands, come out of this situation renewed. What does that mean? So being 
made a new, a new person, new attitude, new, new everything. Just come out of it renewed in your mind, in your spirit. Take from this, this situation, this circumstance, this situationship, this relationship, this marriage, this job. It can't be, it couldn't have been all bad. What can you take that was good? What can you transmute? It was bad, but can you turn it into a good? This relationship was bad for you. That person was bad for you. You were bad for them. But out of that, I found spirituality and I found myself and I'm finding myself teaching other people, whatever, whatever your story is. If you're not taking from all of these human experiences you're having and shit is just happening to you, baby, everybody not karmic. You are just, just stop. Just stop and just, just breathe, stop, breathe and be realistic. You know, um, yeah, stop, breathe and be realistic. So yeah, you got to stop, breathe and be realistic. All right. Cause some of you are, uh, you know, you, you're outside of reality. At this point, it's fantasy. Back to that pseudo confidence. Yeah, some of you, you're not getting what you want. You're not manifesting because you may even be praying or manifesting or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. You're not getting what you want. It says that God is near at a short distance to all who cry out on him to activate but to all that cry out to him in accordance with fact and reality, you know? So you, you got to get in some fact and reality. God don't say, he's just saying, don't come to me in fantasy land. Come to me in fact and reality. This is what it is. God help me with, help me see, help me have, help me do. Help me be, but fact and reality. So anyway, um, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Some of you are coming out of that, like the advice here with the Knight of Cups in reverse. You, you're growing also with the Knight of Cups in reverse. You know, because the Knight of Cups upright can talk about somebody who looks at relationships, you know, a lot of fantasy. They like the beginning of the relationship. They're not exactly over the moon about maintaining the relationship. You know, they tend to have different partners because they're not realistic about what a relationship is. They can't maintain nine of cups or nine of pentacles says you need to, some of you right now are studying spirituality. You have the time, the energy, the money to do so. You're just kind of really doubling down on self. You're keeping people at bay at arm's length. Um, you've got a lot going on with self and, um, you're not, you're just being unbothered. Um, you're also manifesting. Um, some of you are business owners and coming up with different ideas of, you know, how to, um, be in business, a savvy business owner. You have all that you need. You're abundant. It says you're not going to lose your abundance here because you know, hard work, you know what it took to get here. Nine of pentacles, right? It says that some of you, your heart might not be open, especially with the empress in reverse with the nine of pentacles. You just, you need to do some heart work before you can get this massive, love partner who come in and change your life. You just need to, that this is, could be the last leg of your healing, healing your heart and releasing. Do it. I mean, what do you have to lose? Right? Yeah, the three of wands. Show others the way. Take the lead. Enterprise. Some of you are going to be, back to that, in the Sabilas, the merchant and the uh, fortune. Some of you, have your own business. And this is 
I get the three of wands when something is going to be wildly successful. So some of you, you could be a shopkeeper, business owner, salon owner, um, yeah, something of that nature. Um, nine of, so you're coming out of fantasy, maybe even with money and relationships too. There could be a large amount of money coming to you, okay? Could be coming out of, I'm feeling nowhere. I don't know how that happens. I don't know, you know, on the three of wands. Some of you putting some things out there. I don't know if it's going to materialize, if it's going to get the page of pentacles. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um. There's somebody putting energy out to try to draw you back in. They want you to take the leap of faith to them. They want you to take the first step. They want you to reach out to them. They want you to call them. They want you to come back groveling and, you know, crying and wanting them back. So they're putting, they're doing like energy work to get you to communicate. The three is about communication. This is someone that maybe you were in some type of situationship with. It looks like it's taking no effect. You got two cards of no effect. The page of pentacles in reverse, no manifestation. The seven of wands in reverse. It's like it didn't even get off the ground, like dead in the water. I don't know. Something's not working. Wow. And someone's getting tired. The eight of swords. They're trying to figure out it used to work. They used to come back. They used to call. They used to show back up. They used to reach out. It used to work. I, I used to combine them to me. Now somebody's getting desperate. They feel like the ball definitely is in your court. They feel like they're stuck on you, wrapped around you, bound to you. This could be karma for them. This is also, um, this could be Pluto. There's some deep emotions. Um, they're stuck. They're feeling like I should have never giving this person my love or my devotion now I'm stuck on them they don't even like the fact that they like you or love you you know this is somebody who did not want that with you or maybe anyone but now they're stuck on you yeah so that is the that's what I have for you guys um I hope that it resonates for you go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two um, okay, so you wanted to come out Aquarius. All right, so you could be dealing with another Aquarius. Um, maybe around your season, uh, things are going to work out for you. Um, Gemini coming out, right? Uh, the twins, you got Eight of Swords, Gemini. So I'm stuck now. And then you have Libra, okay? Um, so you could have that in your chart. Uh, it could be. You got okay so what who really wants to come out is Capricorn you have Capricorn in your chart you can have a uh, Taurus wanted to come out too with Venus and Saturn no Jupiter so Venus Venus Jupiter and Taurus I'm here like North Node pointing up see where your Venus is it could be in one of those signs Jupiter expansion so this is going to be partnership expanding in love and abundance we'll read it like that wow because you went through like some Pluto told you Pluto like some deep soul healing so if you do this, Aquarius, then um, if you do that deep soul healing that we talked about initially with the judgment card, the first card, right? You're going to get, um, what did we just say? <laughs> You're going to get maybe partnership, love, beauty, the beauty of having a partnership, expansion, in love in abundance or an abundance of you get more than enough so, something is expanding for you this also could mean money too 
Okay. This could be money. This could be what you do on a day to day basis, your priority, what you're prioritizing, your values, your worthiness, credit worthiness. Something is expanding. You're going to have abundance more than enough. This also could be read as love too. So looks like Aquarius, nothing but good things coming to you. Uh, all links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, Aquarius readings are 40% off. Get a reading just like this for yourself. Um, use code 40 off at checkout. You can also, um, you know, if you want to connect with me in regards to business, go ahead and sign up for the complimentary discovery call. It's all about business on discovery call. Okay. Um, so go ahead and get that, go ahead and sign up for that discovery call. And if you want to connect with like-minded individuals each and every month where you get practical and spiritual advice as to how to start, maintain, or grow your business, go ahead and sign up for the KTMG. Keep the momentum going monthly conference call. Um, we've got one coming up on the 24th. So take advantage of that. Many blessings to you, Aquarius. Take care. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur, or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.